At the beginning of last month, at this podium, I set a goal that anyone who needs a test should get a test. And that, as a nation, we should achieve 100,000 tests per day by the end of the month. I knew that it was an audacious goal, but we needed an audacious goal. Because testing is so important for getting Britain back on our feet. I can announce that we have met our goal. The number of tests yesterday, on the last day of April, was 122,000. 347. This unprecedented expansion in British testing capability is an incredible achievement. There was a report in the HSJ that previously a test would be counted only once the sample had been processed, but that that testing has now changed and that it's being counted once it's been posted out. Is that the case? I'll ask John to answer the um, the point from the HSJ, but it's not something I recognise. So there's been no change to the way uh, tests are counted. Uh, as we've developed new ways of delivering tests, we've taken advice from officials as to how they should be counted. So the tests that are within the control of the programme, which is the great majority, are counted when the tests are undertaken in our laboratories. But for any test which goes outside the control of the programme, they're counted when they leave the program. So that's the uh, tests that are mailed out to people at home and the tests that go out in the satellite. So that's, that's the way they are counted, have always been counted, and the way we were advised to count them by officials. The government announces it's exceeded its target of 100,000 daily tests for coronavirus. It's aimed to hit that number across the UK by yesterday. The health secretary said testing was crucial to tackling the outbreak. Good evening. The health secretary has announced that the government has reached its goal of carrying out 100,000 tests per day for coronavirus, a target that it set itself for the end of April. It's seven o'clock on Saturday, the 2nd of May. Good morning. This is Today with Nick Robinson and Michelle Hussein. Professor John Newton is the National Testing Strategy Coordinator and he's with us now. Good morning, Professor Newton. Good, good morning, Michelle. Could we begin with the numbers released yesterday for the last day of April? How many of the 122,347 were carried out in that 24-hour period? Well, there were uh, 122 tests overall and around uh, 80,000 were carried out in our laboratories within the programme on that day. And then there were another more than 40,000 that were dispatched. Now, uh, it's a big number, however you count it. And we don't want to get too hung up on the, on the targets. Indeed, but the original promise was for the UK to be carrying out 100,000 tests a day. And that has not happened yet. Well, that's not quite true, actually. I mean, the, the, it's a big number, however you count it. You, all the tests are only counted once. Um, and you can count tests when they go out or when they come back in. And whichever way you do it, we still uh, beat the target. So um, I don't think, I mean, these are the sort of discussions that you get when politicians set targets. But what we're... I just think that many people might understand them better as being counted when they're completed and returned to you rather than at the point they're sent out. But I, I well, hear, as I say, if you do, I hear what you're saying. A, if you count it that way, because we counted the ones that went out on the 30th, we didn't count the ones that we tested on the 30th because... So whichever way you count it, it's, we're, we're above the target. They, they get into the total. Um, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want no more lies. No, 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 I can't take it. No, 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 I can't take it. Mm. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want no more lies.